Hey team, welcome to episode number one of Eat Like a Ballerina. I am so excited to bring you guys an incredible cooking section to my YouTube channel. Today I have my wonderful friend and even better chef, Scotty, who is cooking the Bombay. Yes, the <laughs> Indian, Indian <laughs> Biryani. We, we, we're going to be cooking it. Yeah. We're going to be cooking it. Yeah. I'm going to be trying. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm not a good chef at all. Yet. I have yet. yet. Yeah. It's coming. Um, I cook very basic meals and I'm so excited to go on this journey of introducing flavor into exactly. my, yeah. my diet and my cooking as well as starting to cook less meat. So this is a vegan meal, is that correct? Totally plant-based. Totally plant-based. Very exciting. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Awesome. Sweet. Sweet. First, we're going to get our veg ready for roasting. So. You can uh, peel one of these bad boys for me. Have you All peeled right. a mushroom before? I have once. You have? All Try right. This hard with these. I'm taking the skin off so we can get the flavour of the curry powder in there. So I actually have to cook. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I thought you were actually, I thought you were going to do it and I was just going to yeah. watch. Oh. Yeah, rustic. Beautiful. Yeah. She has to go to professional chef school to learn how to cut. Uh, I mean, you don't have to, <laughs> but I did. Yeah. <laughs> So um, who, have you, who have you cooked with? Have you cooked with anyone really exciting? No, I trained with a chef over in London, Gordon Ramsay. Have you heard? Oh uh, yeah, I've, I've heard. I've yeah, heard, he's, I've heard. he's been around. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I opened up a few restaurants with Gordon back in London. That's back incredible. Today. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was the worst time of my life. Work, was, worked for the best. Yeah. Oh, actually? Uh, I was tough. <laughs> it was very really tough doing 18 hour days. And, oh my gosh, sounds um, like ballet school. Yeah. Yeah, ballet school is extremely, extremely tough as many yeah, of the ballet angry. out there will know. Yeah. So, do you know any tricks to not cry when you? Oh, a couple. Uh, you can if you, when you leave the core on, it does help. There's less fumes come out that way. Interesting. Um, I've heard you can put a piece of bread in your mouth. Is that like a spoon? So I've been told. Well, spoon. <laughs> this is what I do. That's what you do. Ooh. Every every time, <laughs> every time you chop onion. Every time it actually works, right? Just prove it. <laughs> do you know how to chop properly? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> on the show. So you don't it cut your finger. Right. So you want to, put okay. the, it's called the claw. Mm -hmm. So you hit, if you cut, you cut, you're cutting the knuckles there. So okay, you, and we're just chopping it this yeah, way, so, right? Yeah, so put there, if we hand like that. Okay, yeah. good, and then you put a spoon in your mouth so you don't cry. Okay, okay yes. How much are we going to bet that I won't cut? Uh, $25. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit thicker. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, the claw, yeah? yeah? Oh. It's a bit thicker, yeah. Nice and chunky. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. The spoon works. You heard it here first. You sure? Is that a tear there? No. Yeah. It's really nice. It's day. emotional. It is sunny outside. <laughs> okay, we've got our veg in here in the bowl. We're going to whack some coconut oil. Let's coat it. Whack some salt in there. Salt bay, you know, do you know how to work it? Come on. So you gotta, you just got to bounce off your elbow. That's the, yeah, that's it. You're most of it in the bowl. But a bit of pepper. Some Indian curry powder. So is this spicy? It can be. You can control the heat by adding more curry powder. You can add less or more chilies, or you can use these are banana chilies. They're not crazy spicy, but you can, you know, you, you use bird's eyes if you want to spice it right up. You like spicy? I do not like spicy. I can't handle the heat. You can't hate it. Can't yeah. Handle it. All right. Roll out. We'll ease you into it. Yeah, you slowly you. add, <laughs> increase the chili. Okay, so we are going to roast this veg here. We're going to separate it from our sweet potato. The sweet potato will cook at a different speed. So we're going to put that half there and quickly chop up our sweet potato. We put the coconut oil on first so it coats everything, and then when we put the uh, the salt <laughs> and the uh, curry powder, it'll coat it evenly. Now we're going to whack it into the oven on about 180 to 200 degrees, depending on your fan force oven. Should be done in about 25 minutes. So I, uh, I'm pretty shit at cooking, so when I have friends over and I don't want to cook for them, I, I usually I usually order food for some. I'm a bit embarrassed. Yeah. I mean, well, after, after this cooking list. Yeah, well what you could do is order some Flav, you know, order five or six dishes yeah. the same dish, like the Italian job or something, uh, put it all out some, on a nice platter, order some, yeah, get some rocket, just jazz it up a little bit, and then there you go, you got a nice little... Nice, and not yeah. tell them that it's Flav. No, don't tell them, after. Or oh, before, me. yeah. I've, I've done this. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. I'm actually gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough. 
Do you reckon I could do the splits? Definitely. Reckon? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I can put my leg over my head just. Okay, well that's is that, pretty, is that a good start? Or? So yeah. I can't do that. Oh really? Um, I actually can't. I actually have a program on Releve on the app that I just launched. Um, eight weeks, eight weeks into side splits and middle splits. So you can join the program and I can run you through some stretches. I will join that program for sure. Definitely signed up. So, yeah. We want to wash all the starch, most of the starch off the rice here. So we're just going to rinse it three or four times. That will stop the rice from being gluggy and sticky. You don't want that. <laughs> rinse that about, the rice has been rinsed about four times now. I'm just going to let it soak for about 10 minutes. Now we're going to cook our biryani in the pot, uh, get the heat on. We'll bring our pan up to a medium to high heat and first we're going to colour our plant based mints. Our, our roast veg has been in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes now. I'm just going to have a look and see what's going on in here. Soup tat is still a bit hard. We want to get these cauliflower, onions and mushrooms nicely caramelised. We're going to get heaps of flavour. So this is our plant based mints. You can buy plant based patties also. So we just want to break them up. So we're going to get nice golden colour, so we can get our flavour from, and then we're going to start adding our veg. We're going to add our ginger, and we're going to add our garlic. Got a good stir. Yummy! That's good. <laughs> we're going to add our chilli, just a little bit. Louisa doesn't really like chilli yet. Uh, sorry. You alright over there, Chefy? Yeah, I've a really hard job. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We've got our cardamom pods. I'm just going to crush them up just a little bit, just to release the seeds. So get the back of our knife over here. Just release those seeds there. Into the pan. What? For a sec. It's gonna make up a little bit of veg stock. If you've got time, you can make your veg stock from scratch. Today we're just gonna use a powder roll, it's fine. Uh, it takes about 45 minutes to cook, but you can, um, you can make a, a big batch of it. Uh, you, it'll be a lot tastier the next day as well. So you can just make a big batch up, have it in the fridge. That's perfect for meal prep then. Totally, totally, yeah. It, yeah, it's so much tasty the next day. You put it through in the oven and it gets nice and crispy. Make it into a nice little salad. Yeah. Good to go. Got our cardamom pods in here. Now we're going to add our curry powder. Ready? Okay, we've got our cardamom pods. Got curry powder. A little hint of powdered turmeric. Now saffron. Saffron's quite expensive. It's, uh, it's an optional ingredient in this dish. I, like, I love using saffron, you get great flavour and great colour from the strands. So we've got our raisins also. Okay, we've got all our spices in here now, we're just going to let those cook out for about a minute. Next we're going to add our rice. So that rice has been soaking for about 10 minutes, that's going to start the cooking process. So I'm just going to drain all the liquid water off here. Most of it is fine, a little bit. Whack it in here. Our veg is almost there. Nice colour. Want a little bit more caramelisation on our onions and mushrooms and cauliflower. Go about another five minutes, I reckon. Great flavour. We've got our veg stock dissolved here. Something I yeah. prepared earlier. Pour that straight in there for you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Give a stir. I'll take that for you. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Pour it all in. How's that smelling? It's all combined. I'm just going to season it quickly. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to bake it at 180 for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, I think our roast veg we're ready now. Let's have a look at these. That's looking good. Nice caramelization. Sweet potatoes cooked through. To the side up here. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Look at the beautiful caramelization of these vegetables that I prepared earlier. <laughs> don't, don't sound like the female Atom Forever chef. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these Mushroom. caramelized vegetables I prepared. Oh, oh god, I'm really bad at accents. <laughs> uh, try one of these uh, caramelized curried mushrooms. Yes. 
Holy shit. That's amazing. Caramelization. What the flavor is that? It's actually so, it's actually really, actually, actually surprisingly. really good, mate. I believe it, eh? <laughs> I am just going to now chop up my dill and coriander. Chop it up, roots and all. Checking to see if our rice is cooked through it. It's getting there. It's perfect. Good to go. Arr, Arr. Take your anger out on the cashews. And strong hand. This is how you make nut butter. <laughs> <laughs> I make nut butter with my hands. Mm. Oh, ah! yeah, give it some. Oh. That's flavor right there. That's nice flavor. We're gonna freshen it up with our chopped dill and coriander. You gonna whack that in there? Just whack the whole thing in. Yeah, beautiful, just like that. Stir it all in? Yeah. Oh yeah. Some lime zest. When zesting, you just want to go lightly. You don't want to do too much of the white, the pith, it's too bitter. So you do lemon and, and lime? Yeah. I mean, if you can't find a lime, just use a lemon, or vice versa. Just freshens it up. About half a lime zest, half a lemon zest. <laughs> All right. Gonna prepare our plates now for plating up. We're gonna get our coconut yogurt, nice little swoosh. We got mango chutney, nice little dollop there. Gonna lay down our baby spinach. Sprinkle over our veg. More mine. <laughs> well, we've got a spare one. You can have two. Brownie on top. This looks incredible. Can't believe I made it. I know. Good skills. <laughs> Cashew nuts on top. Pumpadums, deep fried and sleep. And here's our finished products. Indian Bombay Briyani, plant-based from Flav. Thanks team for joining me on episode number one of Eat Like a Ballerina today. Huge shout out to Scotty for teaching me how to cook and for cooking this delicious meal. And uh, link is in the bio to the recipe to Flav. Um, subscribe to Train Like a Ballerina if you'd like to see all the workouts and recipes yet to come. And uh, yeah, peace out guys. Sweet. I'm gonna go eat my meal. <laughs>